Before you get started installing your secure lid wheelie bin latch, let's make sure you have all the required parts and tools. So you should have a latch piece, which is a small rectangular part, and a main part, which is the part that has the arm that swings out. It would have been supplied with two self-drilling screws and three nuts and bolts. Tools-wise, you're going to need a cordless drill, possibly with the Phillips head bit. If you're not confident or don't know how to use the Phillips head bit properly, then all you'll need is a three millimeter drill bit or smaller. We're just going to drill a pilot hole with this to help screw the self-drilling screws down, which we can do with the Phillips head screwdriver. Also, a five millimeter drill bit, which will be used to attach the main part. Now, if you don't have a five millimeter bit, you can use, say, a four millimeter or even a three millimeter and round it out so we've got a five millimeter hole. Anything that's big enough to have this bolt go through, which is five millimeters in diameter. You'll also need an eight millimeter spanner. If you don't have an eight millimeter, you can use an adjustable spanner, a pair of pliers, anything that can be used to grip the nut while you're tightening the bolt in. Also, grab the texture if you can. That'll come in handy for people who aren't familiar using a Phillips head driving piece and head drill. So let's get started. You want to take the latch piece and position it at a 45 degree angle on the front left corner of your bin. Now at this point, most bin lids will have a little bit of movement in them. This one doesn't have much because it's quite new, but older bin leads will have a lot of movement. So it's important that you push the bin lid towards the latch and forward. So align it towards the latch. Now, take the main part and place it over the latch. Now, find a suitable location where the main part can be attached to the lid. Now, that looks fine there. Now, maintain the latch position while taking the main part off. Keep that position there, make sure it's where it was. Now, if you're confident, drill this straight down with the self-drilling screws. If you're not so confident, get your text up and mark out both holes. Now, simply drill this out with the three millimeter drill. Take your Phillips head screwdriver, one self-drilling screw, and just screw it straight in. Same with the other. Now, get the five millimeter drill bit set up in your drill. Place the main part over the latch. Now, make sure you pull the main part back towards the back of the lid. So there is wrong, there is right. Now, take a texture and mark these if you like, or if you feel confident, just drill the hole straight out like this. through. Now we can just put the nuts on the end and tighten them up. So I've gone ahead and tightened the nuts and bolts and there you have it, that's the completed job. So to use the device, you just pull up the arm, let it go and it automatically self-engages. There's no need for you to on closure push it in yourself, no need to do that, just let it go, watch itself engage, and there you have it.